Beautiful. Your voice sounds like it's back. A little bit. I have to like I have to watch out for the next day or two because it will get worse if I don't like calm down. Zane looked at me like dead in the eyes yesterday. He goes, I get so jealous with people. your voice is like fine and mine's raspy. Have you been screaming? I feel like I don't I, I, I think it's I think it's the drinking and <laughs> It, I, I think it just like fucks up my vocals. Do you have a humidifier? I don't. It does get Zane, Zane's bedroom so huge. He would need like a, <laughs> I would need like three in my bedroom just to fall, just to like fill up the entire like room. With I would recommend it. It's good for hangovers, especially in the winter in LA. Like because where we're from, especially where you're from, Florida, yeah. it's so humid all year round. When you come here, like your lips get chapped, you lose your voice. I would recommend getting mm. a humidifier. Okay, right. It puts some essential oils in it. Oh, yeah, a little, a little bit of uh, sandalwood. Eu- eucalyptus. A little I, bit of lavender. I wish I knew that world. I, I, I don't like... I would never go online and buy an essential oils well, whatever. I know what I'm getting it, you for Hanukkah. Don't, don't they say... His, well, his birthday is... Oh, yeah. Tomorrow. Is, is your birthday on Friday? When's my birthday? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. What you you don't do research on your guests before you have I them on? I got the invite to the party. Thank you very much. I'm very excited. That Zane, would be great. Zane did have to. You did change uh, the attire for his birthday was black tie. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's because Natalie said to make it black tie. So I was like, okay, I'll make it black tie. But black tie is that's like tuxedo. That's a tuxedo. I I think she may have been confused because she was saying that it would look so nice if you did black tie. I thought in my head. Black tie was like, like suits, <sighs> cocktail. I guess. Like okay, I but do to think me, LA... cocktail is just like, don't come in like a tank top. Yes, LA is actually the worst of getting people to stay accountable about yeah. dressing nice. Yeah, because you will literally go to a club. And everyone's wearing like hoodies because exactly. they think it's cool, yeah. which is weird because every other fucking city around the country wouldn't let you in if you were wearing a hoodie. But yeah. LA, we have these personalities and these egos, not talking about us specifically, but the people who live out here where they're like, fuck you. You don't know who I am. The, I'm the best ga- Twitch gamer in the, in the, the country. Thing is that I, I, I like to wear hoodies. I, I know oh, what you mean. I, I like, I don't like to dress nice because I don't think I look good when I dress nice. So I, that's why I like to wear a hoodie. It makes me feel safe. <laughs> and I think that's why a lot of other people wear hoodies too. I but I see, I, I see what you mean though. I see what you mean by like people think that like they can wear whatever the fuck they want. I genuinely just don't like to wear anything else because I don't think I look good in anything else. Well, even you're in the right city because you cannot go like in New York City if you go to a club oh, in a hoodie. No, no, even even yeah. white soles or uh, like this color shoes, you have to have black soles on your shoes in order to get into certain clubs. Wow, like they'll look at your sneakers and say no white soles allowed. But I respect what? that. Though. Yeah, I never do that about the white soles. Yeah, in New York. I hate when the hats the hats rule sometimes bums I me hate- out. The hat rules. I think it's so stupid. Dude, so many people have problems with their fucking hair. Yeah. Like, why can't I cover it with a fucking hat? Like, and then there, the rules will be, no, you can only wear a cowboy hat or a beanie. <laughs> well, it's I'm like, sorry. Uh, yeah, let me fu- go. I'm, a cowboy hat? Since when is a cowboy hat com- considered nicer <laughs> yeah, than a fucking tie, cat? Let me, let me go tie up my horse right now <laughs> yeah. while I'm at it. Can I wear my spurs in? It makes can no I wear sense. spikes? Like, uh, let me go back to the ranch and get my uh, cowboy hat for tonight. And, and, and people are saying that beanies are nicer than caps. What? I think beanies look more like run down yeah, yeah. than fucking caps. Like this is a nice hat. Yeah, it is. I think this is considered bougie and fancy. At bar list, they make you check in your hat. Oh like, yeah, like it's a coat. <laughs> this is I got to do this every time. And then as soon as I walk in, <laughs> yeah, it's like what's the point? <laughs> Why? If you're going to be strict, I want you to drag my ass out of that place it, as soon as I put my hat is, back on. Is that what you, I, I know. That. It's very silly. But I, I do, too, when you go to bar list, you literally put your hat like you're doing a magic trick. Like, yeah. Just like that. Nothing. Have you ever gone just anywhere, like, though, and you've been like, why is that person wearing that? Hat? Like, or, or like, have you ever gone into an establishment, though, that is nice and you're just like, you see someone who's They'll wear, just... like, a glitter tank top with, like, very revealing or... I, I, I think, like, the only time I've, I think I've ever been, like, damn it, could it like, I uh, think when they're wearing, like, a wife beater. Or they're wearing a shirt that says, like, like... Or they're wearing a shirt that says, like, vacation mode on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but have you ever been in a situation where you've walked up to a club and they've been, like... Oh, we don't allow those pants. And then you have to go buy pants and then throw away a pair of shorts or something. Yeah. I've been there. Actually, this city, like when I first moved out here, I felt like I had to keep buying pants because I didn't 
Who's calling me? Who was it? The government? <laughs> My <laughs> landlord, actually, eviction is happening as we speak. <gasps> You're getting evicted? No. They want to, re- they want to like renovate the kitchen, and I just... I don't know. I don't know if I want to. Can we, can we make the picks? <laughs> no, they, <can> we make the, <laughs> like, it's, it's not like even our house. The budget. Yeah, we'll, we'll, right? They want to, they're waiting for us to leave the house for a week so they can renovate. But a part of like, so I told Heath this and Heath was, and Heath was like, well, they shouldn't be allowed to do this. They should give you at least half rent or something because they're, because your kitchen's not being used now for a week. And I'm and like, damn, I didn't think about in that. The house too. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it was the other way around, I feel like people would a hundred percent ask for like, yeah. Have, or yeah, I feel like people would a hundred percent ask for like a little bit of their rent caught up or when there's a construction happening next to a house that's for rent, usually people ask for a lower rent because yeah, Hey, I'll take happening? the place, but it's just have to deal with this noise every fucking day for six months. Well, so I, I get I, it, but I think they're trying to get their house ready. So the moment we leave, they can like sell it. Yeah. Oh, damn. I'm curious to see what they do. I mean, our kitchen right now is very like 2007. It is, but the thing is, but how they're, nice. they're going to just replace the cabinets? That doesn't make sense to me I, because I feel like it all vibes together. I think the cabinets are fine. No, 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 the cabinets are the only thing that should be changed in the countertops. T- what do you. What are you going to change the cabinets to that's going to make the, everything look... It's still that kind of like Tuscan mom vibe. That's you what know I'm what saying. Like but the cabinets are very Tuscan mom vibe. So what are you going to change it to? All of it. He's oh, saying change I all change, of it. Change the, 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 the countertops and the cabinets just maybe... They're probably going to make it that super fast fucking modern vibe where it's just like sleek straight edges. There's no Got there's it. no molding to the uh, crown molding. Yeah, the to, cabinets like, are very like... Intricate. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's elaborate, but I think it's homey. I would change the countertop to like a concrete countertop. Like, it's a granite. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that granite countertop. Yeah, it just... It, it does it, feel it like... It is so 2003, baby. Get uh-huh. rid of it. Absolutely. As soon as I walk into like a Mediterranean house, I'm like... Mm. I don't know what it is about. I think it's I think it's a mixture of the floors because the floors are always like this tile. Yes. My, uh, my house has it right now. My mom's actually trying to change it up a little bit. But my house, like the house, my mom's house, it is like very Mediterranean. Like you, got, you, you may have like a rooster that's above the cabinet. Yes. <laughs> Some fake grapes. Yeah. Bottles of like olive oil with just yes, like stuff in it. With yeah. stuff in it that's never, just for show. It's yeah. just for show. Trying to make it seem like they're, yeah, in Tuscan. Have you seen the meme where it's like an apocalypse could happen and the only thing surviving are those fucking bottles? <laughs> <laughs> like the bottles of the peppers and like what like what is that? Nobody knows what that it, is. It just it once they just try to make your kitchen look like you're in the middle of an Italian villa. And every time you grab it, it's just slimy. I don't yeah, know how oil just gets slimy. Yeah. It's crazy because you fill it up but like why is it so slimy on the outside? It's like people you're, are using it but it, no one's using it. You're it's, right. It's, it's like this condensation that's coming from uh, yeah, from inside like it's seeping through the glass. It's gross. But like, can you imagine going today to like Home Goods and be like, "What do I need?" <laughs> oh, we need a spiral metallic holder for three bottles of oil that we're never going to open. If Mariah's no. here, if Mariah's here, she'd be really offended right now because I'm sure her house, her parents' house, is filled with that. Do you shit. remember those kitchens though? Before everybody had that type of kitchen. There was nothing like better than having that like wealthy friend who had that Tuscan vibe. Oh yeah, but Maybe. it was like a good Tuscan. Yes. It was like, yes. like your, nice. Your first friend who had like granite countertops, mm. and they had that stacked refrigerator, and you were just set when you were over at and their, their house. And their dog, husky. Oh yeah. <laughs> yup. <laughs> And what was in their pantry? Bagel bites, mm-hmm. pizza rolls. They had Pop they had tarts. every every but, brand. Do they had every. the strud- They had the strudels. Yeah, like, they had Pillsbury strudels. Plenty of icing. Where you're able to use the icing, and they wouldn't get mad. Now, okay, strudels. Were you a strudel guy? Uh, Pop tarts? No, no strudels. Pillsbury strudel. No, Where you heat tarts. it up and then you put the icing on it? Oh yes, yes, yes. Wait, mm. now did you did you do a design? Did you try to do the uh, the zigzag or did you just spread it? I did this. Look, so I went like I, I did like the the, the barn house. <laughs> did the barn house or the X squat? Uh, and then oh, I would take my fingers and I would wipe it <laughs> along so it got everywhere evenly. And then I would, and then I'd but I would I, I would use two packets every time. 
lethal, but then that's going to screw you over later. No, what gonna... it screwed me over is screw my brothers and sisters because they would have to deal with the no Shit. icing. But with yeah, no I was icing, real, man. I was real um, selfish what when it came your, to the strudels. What was your favorite flavor? Strawberry. Oh. They, what, what other flavors did they have? Like apple, like cinnamon apple, like an apple pie kind of flavored. And then I think there was like a bit of a wild berry and a blueberry. You were allowed to use the oven yourself? You would the, use a uh, toaster. No, use a toaster. Toaster oven. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh my god, you, you would use a whole oven for I that? I thought you were doing like for the whole team, like the whole class. What were no. you having for breakfast as a child? Because you're like a bagel guy now, but real. Oh, like you... bagel, bagel locks for sure. The bagel, I still do. I just ordered two dozen bagels from New York delivered overnight. Fresh. From New York? There are bagel shops in LA. You're saying there are bagels right now on a plane coming to you? <laughs> they arrived this morning. Why are you... Why... Bagel, all bagels are the same. No, yes. they are not. There is really no place. Like every time I get a bagel from Starbucks, from anywhere, I eat them. Like this is it's, good. It's it, a bagel. You can't have a bad bagel. Like, okay. I get maybe a lobster from Maine. Like if you were really yeah. craving like something from that side of the country, what is great about the bagel from New York? There is something I do not know what it is. If you ha- when I I will bring you the bagels. I got two dozen. What I do is every month. I place an order online. They make the bagels. They make two dozen bagels. Package it, zip like ziplock it, overnight it to my house, and then I put them in the freezer. And then I you know bagels. they're laughing. Like they, 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 they're probably like, "Who the fuck does this guy think he is?" There is a quality and such a definitive difference between a New York bagel and every other bagel in the world. Okay, but you're so you're getting the bagels from New York, and then you put them in your freezer. So you freeze the bagel, retains the freshness, and then when I want one every morning, he's I like keep... a six year old grandma. Yeah. Like, oh, you're working to put it in the freezer get... so it lasts for three like, and a half I, years. I, I, I'm hungry, grandma. Well, we got some frozen. <laughs> Bagels, you just gotta dethaw them out for a all while. All my foreign friends' parents, or all my all my friends that had foreign parents, they all did that shit. They buy bread from like their Brazilian <laughs> cafe markets, like yeah. three hours away, and then freeze it. I'm like, bro, just get the fresh but, shit yeah. from Publix, okay. and it's gonna taste ten times better. Fucking, have you had Hank's Bagel down the street? Yes, I. That is good, but there is. I promise you, there is something better and different about. <laughs> What is? Where are these bagels from, Mike? Yeah, I'm gonna open this up. Um, are the, they are they like bigger? Like they what? are bigger, but there's also. I mean, this is a thing that the water in Brooklyn that they make the bagels with is just better because the water in New York City is the some of the best water in the country. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Larry what? King, Larry That's King, fucking... the TV guy, has a place called Brooklyn Water Bagels out here, and they ship the water from New York to LA. That's, to make the bagels. That's one thing that I don't get about New York, but I know that the water is cleaner. It's actually some of the cleanest city water. It is. But then you're like, how is LA not like that? Because when you look at New York City, you're going, you're saying that whole fucking city. Well, we're all getting those it. Pipes. We're getting it from. We're getting it from the north, uh, like upstate New York oh, and shit. Connecticut. Uh, speak, uh, speaking of water, it's crazy how I. Um, we lived in Studio City, right? I think that uh, water in Sherman Oaks is a little worse than Studio because, City because I. Remember I, I first bleached my hair in Studio City, right? Yes. And I would take a shower and it stayed the same color. Sherman Oaks, my hair's turning yellow in like two days. Oh. And April's like, "What's? why is your hair turning so yellow every time you see me? And then she realized that, oh my God, you lived in Studio City and the water is much better than water in Sherman Oaks. Because I think our water in Studio City came from the Hollywood Reservoir. And that's like a natural like lake. Because uh. I lived, but I didn't realize that at the time. Uh, but I lived when I also was living really close to where yeah. like Olivia O'Brien lived. That area, that water, Ooh. that water comes all from there. And I bet still, then that water in Studio City came from that reservoir. But that's why you can literally just drink out of the sink, and it's amazing. But out here, it's probably different. Yum! Just like just imagining drinking water in that area, bro. It tastes like Crystal Geyser. Oh, <laughs> good shit! I still use the water machine, even though I'm in Studio City. I, I don't trust. Zane will buy one of these a day and carry this around. <laughs> this is your water. That's good though. You I, 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 I buy a these as a measurement. Like I try to finish the whole bottle because if I get like a jug, I will not. I won't be able to keep up with how what much is I'm this drinking. Great Goose vodka. What is this? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's wild like Did now t- that like the water conversation I feel like it's been the strongest it's ever been like do you do you drink purified water or spring water I try and use dude Topo Chico mineral water Got it's got potassium it's got uh, calcium a little magnesium hmm. mineral water okay what, what was, was it with you well, I was, we were watching like a documentary or a show and they were talking about how a guy invested in um, 
fuck or it was it was at David's we were watching a movie it was about somebody was betting on the real estate market what movie is that the big short the big short right yeah. yes and then in the end of the movie they said that the guy is now betting on the failure of water the water just water in general the Christian Bale's character yeah with the the I Michael um what's his name it's Michael, Michael something no, Michael Brew something I don't I have to watch that movie like maybe four more times to fully understand because I was watching it just it was yeah. I yeah. couldn't yeah. understand anything that's where they have Marco Robbie so explaining something in a bathtub. and then Selena yeah. Gomez is explaining yeah something. yeah it was really it Which was they crazy tr- they use those scenes to like help you understand it better but it's already distracting because yeah. you're like I did not see. Um, it going like this. You no, know, the housing market is a really fascinating thing that happened in 2003. Eight. Eight? Oh, yes. Why am I thinking 2003? 2008. Um, do you know anything about that, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> no, he just knows the bagels. They were giving out faulty know. loans to oh, people who couldn't afford their houses. You want to talk houses. about the subprime mortgage crisis? Is yes. that what you're talking about? And yeah. the uh, mortgage-backed securities that they were selling with AAA junk bonds? Yes. Yes. Is this what you want to talk about? So <laughs> I have no fucking clue. What, what, um, what, so what, pretty much do you think, well, hopefully, how many how many percent of people became victims to that? A lot. It oh. was insane. I mean, it started the recession. That's why we had a recession in 2008. We'll be right back after a quick word from today's sponsor, Audible. You don't need to ride an elevator for the music or pick an airline for the movies. So when it comes to audio entertainment, it makes sense to choose Audible. It is the home for stories told by the biggest stars like Ethan Hawke, Kerry Washington, and Kevin Hart. It is home to epic adventures, chilling mysteries, and can't-miss comedies. Audible is the home of storytelling. So let your imagination soar with audiobooks, podcasts, and originals. What we love best about Audible is that no matter where you are, you can let your imagination run wild because of the wide, various selection of all different kinds of originals and just great books. No matter where you are, what you're doing, you put on Audible and you're transported to a new world. Audible is the home of storytelling with all of your favorite audio entertainment in one app. You can find the best of what you love or something new to discover. Audible also has an incredible selection of audiobooks across from every genre, from bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, mysteries and thrillers, motivation, wellness, business, and more. As an Audible member, you can choose one title per month to keep from their entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. Members also get full access to a growing selection of included audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. You can download or stream all of their included titles as much as you want. And what I'm listening to right now in that's got me on the Donna Tart train, so I'm listening to A Secret History by Donna Tart. I mean, I'm currently listening to Yearbook by Seth Rogen. Love that memoir. And he's actually reading it in his own voice, so I love it. Now you can even listen to Hoot and a Half on Audible. How cool is that? All your favorite content in one app. So let Audible help you discover new ways to laugh, to be inspired, or to be entertained. New members can try Audible for free for 30 days. Just visit audible.com slash hoot or text hoot to 500-500. That's audible.com slash hoot or text hoot to 500-500 to try Audible for free for 30 days. Audible.com slash hoot. So I guess the the thing is when it was happening though, I wasn't really aware of it, but if I was my age... We would have all been fucked, truly. Because what basically, all our, all if we were us. all the age we were at now, yeah, and it was happening, fucked. we'd be fucked. That's scary. Yeah. Basically, just to recap very briefly, what would happen is you would go and you say, I want to buy a house. And they would say, Okay, how much money do you make? And you go, I make $100,000 a year. And they say, Okay, so you can afford a mortgage payment of $2,000 a month right now. But. In three to five years, that mortgage payment is going to increase. So you'll be able to own the house. It's a 30-year mortgage. For the first two, three years, you're going to be paying nothing. And then after two to three years, the mortgage will come to the actual amount because you can't actually afford a million-dollar house. But we're going to put you in a million-dollar house. You're going to pay as if it's a very cheap house. 2000 a month? And, and, they were, and they were approving everybody. Everything. It didn't matter what they were making. Yeah, yeah. and they, yeah. they would say, like, you know what? Eh, you could use another. You could actually get afford a bigger house. So they're putting all these people and saying, well, by the time the payment increases, you'll be making more money anyway. But in, uh, inflation and wages 
were did not keep up with what the amounts were. And they were. did the, like they did that kind of on purpose because they yes. knew that oh now we could buy the house off these people yes. for much dirt cheap. Right. Once, because once they, they, they can't able... afford it anymore. So you did understand the movie. I kind of yeah, did, yeah. but like I wanted to like every line that they were saying, it was just had big fucking words in it, and I just yeah. wish I understood what those. They words used meant. big words like that to confuse people, like subprime mortgage and yeah. uh, mortgage backed securities, all these things. It basically just means you're gonna move into a house, you're gonna pay a little bit today, and then in three, four, five years, you're put payment is going to like triple overnight that happened to millions of people and then everyone was trying to sell their house because it's like i can't afford to live here anymore and then everyone's houses were on sale so the market crashed and then they were selling their houses for less than they were worth and yeah. it's because like there wasn't like enough like oversight from like the government the government the... and the banks were were giving away loans for free like they were giving away loans to people who shouldn't be able to afford it uh... if you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year you're not going to be able to afford a million dollar house right yeah like but the, they were giving them but they were like giving candy. it away so um, sad. But the reason to order bagels from Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to bet against the bagel market coming from, uh, I from get, New York. I get that it's weird, but I kind of like starting my mornings with like a trip around the world. So like my beans for my coffee when I'm not having Cremota, which mm-hmm. I do have very frequently. I love Cremota. My roommate loves it. They I, were good. Whenever were good. I'm out of Cremota and I have... Let's say beans from Africa. I'm like, ooh, starting the day off with a trip to Kenya. Then I'll go to New York and have my bagel. And then for lunch, I'll have a California. Oh, you would love Epcot. You should go. <laughs> <laughs> you you would been. be there all day. I've never been to Epcot. I haven't either. Oh. Actually, I went a long time ago, but like I only it was like a walk by. Like I didn't really truly get to experience. I know the that full. there's like drinks and stuff. You can drink alcohol and you go around to like different parts of the world. But like, are there rides? Yeah, there is yeah. a ride. The, there's the, rides. the big golf ball is a ride. That it's a small world ride, and I think that's no, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's Disney small, World. It's not. It's a small world. It's not an Epcot. <laughs> I think it is. Uh, no, it's, it's not, not in that building. That's it's why in it, Disney World. That's in Disney World. It's a small world. It's after a small. All. World after it's not you're Epcot. In- Epcot's for all the adults. That, yeah. that ride, it's a small world, is like right by the castle at both parks. I'm yeah. pretty sure. I, that, I, I don't like, remember. I, maybe it's in the Florida one. Have you been to the Florida? Disney? Yeah, it's no, a, no. That's, that's where Epcot is. That's where. Yeah, oh, that's where Epcot is in California. No, I've been. In, I've been to Disney World so many times. Epcot, okay, I've you never been, me, and then. I've been on that ride so many times. Yeah. Okay, I don't and know. I don't know why the fuck what, what were we doing on that ride? It was like the whole family, no kids. Oh. And we're just <laughs> like for who? Uh, for uh, who? I would love to go to Disney. I haven't been to Disney World in a minute, but I, I love. I love a good theme park. I love theme park. I know, but sometimes it's like I get anxiety because it's like there's too many people. I like. I, I want to go on like a perfect day where there is nobody, like a Monday. Yeah, yeah. Or or you just gotta just save up for fast passes. I think those fast passes the are just best. make. When it. I went with my parents, we got. Pa- Fast passes to Universal, which granted yeah. is not as crazy. It was the best experience I've ever. I had. just don't like how now, now, especially during these times, you need those passes in order to fully enjoy the park. But 100%. isn't it still like you can't just walk on the ride with the fast pass? You have to like wait for a certain time with the no, fast no, pass. No, no, no. That's just Six Flags. I thought Disneyland. It's all this time shit. I thought that was Six Flags. Yeah. I know Six Flags. You have to like reserve a time to yeah, like, that's go on the insane. Right. That's Yeah, that's insane. But that's because it's so overpopulated now. They should have a cap every day. Also, if you so go there when, enjoys when it. it opens, there's like a path that they want you to take. So instead of going like, let's say that the park opens and like you start going to the right and then you make a loop around, get there to the park and do the opposite. Go backwards through the park when you first get there, and then you can hit everything. Much faster. Is it because p- people normally usually po- they just people follow go right? the path? Yeah. So like, okay, the first ride is like in Universal. Or like, go get on the train and that takes you across the park. Yeah. You like, like you right start you at the there. end at the very beginning of the day and then you sort of go reverse engineer against the people. That's what we did. It was great. Like everyone, when you first walk into Universal, there's like the Simpsons world. Yeah. And I was like, we'll come back to this later. Let's go to <laughs> Secret Life. Uh, it's of the funny path. that you brought that up. So uh, years ago, we um like we we just loved water parks for some reason oh, we yeah, loved yeah, water yeah. parks and we decided that we were going to go to um typhoon or uh, blizzard beach right we we're going to go to blizzard beach it was a water park but it was like ice theme and we decide that <laughs> let's go there the, cra- the the second it opened to be the first in line yeah so we could do all the water uh, water rides yeah 
We went in and we started doing the water rides and we realized how disgusting water parks are. Yeah. You realize how disgusting they are when it's completely empty. Clean. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, you see all the marks everywhere because when it's filled, it, it kind of looks cleaner it, it, yeah. when it's filled. It be, water you know, parks. You can't tell me that kids are not peeing in that. Oh, I mean, yeah. Every child. But they really, I think they dump Fucking chlorine. chemicals and chlorine I think in there. So, so too. I mean, it's the probably really, like you still get out and probably fucking <laughs> yeah burns. It. Uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah, they there's definitely kids peeing out. But I think they do whatever they can to make it like the as best sterile. Schl- as possible. Have you been to Schlitterbahn or heard of Schlitterbahn in Texas? It's a water park, but all the water every day comes from the river <laughs> from the river. So they cycle <laughs> they, they, they cycle in like natural spring fed water river water. Into the park. That's pretty good. So, but like, so the water's like kind of green because it's river water, but it's like oh, it's no, clean. Baby, it's green. green. It's more yeah. renewable. That's ah. what that's what they tell you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so Zane, what's your uh, Thanksgiving tradition? Are you a big Thanksgiving guy? Do you celebrate? Do you fly home? Uh, it's the thing is that uh, it's gone to the point where Thanksgiving is not like that big of a deal anymore. Yeah. Especially since the family's gone a lot smarter, a uh, smarter, smaller mm-hmm. because. Um, parents are separate or my mom separated like we don't see our family much anymore so it's been like if, when i go home for thanksgiving this year it's gonna be me my mom and my brother oh pretty damn. much yeah it's, yeah it's just gone so small six seven years ago it used to be a big family thing it'd be like fucking 30 40 of us and now it's just holly's it's, family can you go and see them the thing is that they they kind of keep it separate because I think Talia has like a whole family. Like it's not just a family; it's like a whole family on that side that really, yeah. we really don't know. There's a lot of juggling. Involved. Yeah, so, and we used to set like we used to be separate where it's our it was all, our whole family then her whole family. But yeah, no, it's just it's kind of gone. What, what, what's your go to meal? What's your what's your, what's your Thanksgiving? You know, uh, food I don't, of choice. I don't like Thanksgiving uh, food. I only so I, this is what I get during Thanksgiving. I I get mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, and uh turkey. and turkey. That's it. Stuff. Thing? No, I don't like cranberry any of that sauce? shit. No cranberry sauce. I what? don't like any of that gravy. No, nothing. Cra- I have never had cranberry sauce. I was like, yum, yum, yum. I think that that's like the old, like your grandparents and like, <laughs> yeah, they, they <laughs> just putting that little shit. Matt, on it. That's, it, it, just getting that cranberry. <laughs> me, every time me and Matt go out to eat, out for just for like five seconds, I'll just be like, "Hey, Matt, look," and I'll just be putting like, just like jam on like a cracker <laughs> and just putting it really slow in my mouth because if you just look at older people yeah. eating, they're putting the weirdest <laughs> shit together yes, and it's... just eating, and you're just like. What? Yeah, watching old people eat is an insane thing to do. I know, Ooh. and it's gonna be us one day. It's gonna I, be I us. Feel like I hope not, but I pay attention to old people. And I'm like, make sure when you're like looking at someone, your mouth is not like open. You ever see old people <laughs> just like staring? Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like taking notes for when I'm old. Like, just let's close it up. I, no, I think we're gonna be like really cool old people. I think so I think too. So too. I, because I think we're aware that like we can't let ourselves be too old. Yeah, you know like, what I, I mean? always see kids on TikTok when they, either they're with like their their parents or they're with their grandma. Sometimes you'll come across like, oh, there's a really cool grandma. Grandpa grandma. I'm like, hands down, that'll be me. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, you want me to do some bit for your TikTok? Hopefully, it's even around. Oh, I want to be but, busting like, oh. my ass for my grandchildren's <laughs> TikToks. Yeah, hundred percent shaking ass at seventy. You, yeah. You, you know who I saw? Uh, on um, Friday, uh, the was it crispy lady? Was it? Was have you it ever crispy? had? Uh, you don't know that lady who's like, oh the crispy. Have you ever cream? had a crispy cream? Was it yes. crispy? Was it crispy? Exactly. Exactly. You've never seen that lady? No, I, I've uh, never even seen that. Like an old Jewish yeah. woman in New York. Well, you saw her at Spartina. Does and she live here? I did. You go up to her? I don't think so. I think she lives in New York. No, I didn't. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, Take, I'm weird, I, dude, I feel like TikTokers are like so approachable. Like if yeah. someone's on TikTok, just go right up to them. I think yeah. it's like I, I would have <laughs> I would have approached her if I was if she was outside the restaurant walking out. I would have been like, oh my god. But I don't know. I. I I wouldn't do it in the middle of a restaurant to draw more attention to that person. Oh, no. Sorry. Not in the middle of a restaurant. Like, like at a Ralph's parking lot. Though. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Do y'all feel bad? Or do y'all wish you went and saw Harry Styles now that it's like almost over? I, de- I mean, I definitely respect him as an artist. And yeah. he has really good songs. I would never go to a Harry Styles show. It looks like church. Yeah. It looks like- <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Scientology like event. To it's, me. Like, it's, just it's not like- a concert. That's worship. Yeah. That is like... <laughs> The, they are like people are like standing around. Who is this man in a sparkly shirt? Everybody yeah. is. Because no 
one is like he's never really singing. It's yeah. everyone else singing. Screaming yeah. And screaming. I, I feel like he's more like just talking to people too or pointing at people that have big signs. Oh, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Biting his What's lip at different. Name? <laughs> it's like, he's doing bits. Yeah, yeah. He he's, like a pre, bits. he's like a preacher. Did somebody yeah. throw like something gen- at him recently? Yeah, and he like, he like catches stuff. He responds to signs. Yeah, he like caught something with his mouth. <laughs> I see. I, I, but like he's doing so many shows. That's gonna be fifteen exhausting. nights. Yeah. He did fifteen nights in MSG, and now fifteen nights here. You know what? He should do some more. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, like at first, I was like, "That's too much," and now I'm just like, "Perform." I just it's it, like he has to be making at least like two million a show. Yeah, probably more. Has his, to. It's right? insane. I bet. Yeah. Do you think? He, I bet he's really generous with his money, though. Too, like his band members and stuff. Do you think so? Oh yeah. Yeah. I think it is kind of silly. Does he still come out in like? The the like the cargo. Sometimes they. they oh yeah, he'll like, come you know, as like the the gear. This episode of Hoot and a Half is brought to you by Uncommon Goods. If you want to avoid boring, basic, and bland gifts this year, Uncommon Goods is your secret weapon. Uncommon Goods is here to make your holiday shopping stress-free by scouring the globe for the most remarkable and truly unique gifts for everyone on your list. Whether you're shopping for your secret Santa or your entire family, Uncommon Goods knows exactly what they want. Here's one of our favorite things that we've had on the set for a long time now from Uncommon Goods. This is our little elf elephant bowl that has a uh, well it's empty now because we eat, eat all the snacks but this cute little handmade elephant bowl made out of wood matt got a beautiful pair of sunglasses as well as i got a great set of wine glasses that i love patricia and i think are perfect for our kitchen and we are so excited to have them in our forever home and they have not only these, but so many to choose from. Honestly, you will spend forever on their website because you will start falling in love with every single product. It's a perfect place to find gifts for the ones you love. When you shop at Uncommon Goods, you're supporting artists and small independent businesses. These fine products are often made in small batches, so shop now before they sell out this holiday season. Uncommon Goods looks for products that are high quality, unique, and often handmade or made in the US. They have the most meaningful, out of the ordinary gifts anywhere. From art and jewelry to kitchen, home and bar, Uncommon Goods has something for everyone. Not the same lackluster gifts you could find anywhere. With every purchase you make at Uncommon Goods, they give back $1 to a nonprofit partner of your choice, and they have donated more than two and a half million dollars to this date. So if you wanna be the hit of your holiday season and show off everyone else that is bringing boring basic gifts and you show up with your uncommon goods gift this is the place to find the gift that you want to bring so to get 15 percent off your next gift go to uncommongoods.com slash hoot that's h-o-o-t that's uncommongoods.com slash hoot for 15 percent off don't miss out on this limited time offer uncommon goods they are all out of the ordinary have you ever seen taylor swift one time left a hotel in a suitcase <laughs> Have you seen that? Uh, no. She like hides inside of a suitcase so that way paparazzi doesn't get her. She'll be bundled up like this and someone will wheel her out in a suitcase someone, so she can get to and from her airplane. Because you know her fans will just like stand outside of a hotel. One time they swore that she never really left the hotel. Yeah. And they were like, how did she leave? And they looked at like all the photos and there was a suitcase and everyone believes that she was in the suitcase. And she never like confirmed that? No. no. But like that's so like it's crazy. It's funny how celebrities like they try to like keep every shit a secret. If that was me, I would a hundred percent be like Yep, I was in that suitcase. Now it show BTS of me getting into that suitcase. Right. I think it's so interesting and funny. Like, take advantage of this. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Make content. Yeah, but like, but then again, if she like, if she tells me that she did that, then they're gonna start um, stealing every suitcase that comes out of a fucking hotel <laughs> <laughs> around the time that she's there. I yeah, I couldn't. I was just thinking how many outfits he has to wear for fifteen nights because he's changing outfits like in between every song. I, that just seems exhausting. Every song he's in a new outfit. It looks like it. Do you I'm think look- he's in like all Gucci because he's in that Gucci campaign now? I think he's doing. Cu- they do custom stuff custom for him. Custom stuff for sure. That's nice. I would. I want custom stuff for like when I go to Saddle Range. You know, like. <laughs> yeah. There was I a point in time where you were like hiring a stylist for like parties now. Me? No. Yeah. Did you hire a stylist one time to like pick clothes for you to go out because you just like ran out of hoodies? <laughs> Oh, that was for Coachella, and I That's genuinely didn't have clothes, and I don't like shopping. I'm yeah. just, or no, I don't like. It's not. I don't like shopping. I'm not good at shopping. You're indecisive. Yes. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just I don't know what looks good. I love that when you're like, oh yeah, my stylist for Coachella. I was like, That's exactly what you need. Yeah. Just take the pressure out of it. Like to me, a stylist is like. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, uh. Like this, like like this, like he like I, he has a really good sense of fashion. So he like grabbed clothes and was just like, "This is gonna look good here." I guess that's a stylist. Yeah. Sometimes though, <laughs> I can't tell. Like I'll I'll see like outfits, like you know, like you'll see like outfit TikToks of like dudes who are like, "This is a great jacket, buy these pants." Yeah. And you're like, "Shit, that's a perfect fit." But you're like, "Is it a good fit, or is this person just really Looks handsome?" Good. Yeah. Like. Todd, the reason why Todd, Todd's in, insanely attractive. He's got like the beard, the hair, he can wear whatever the, the fuck he wants. Skin. Yeah. It's just all there, so he can rock anything. But when you put it on us, we're clowns. Yeah. He, <laughs> clowns. He's, he, like, he was moving out, and he's like, hey, you want something? You want any clothes? I was like, oh my God, absolutely. And I just know that anything I put on, that's in his closet. Did he give you clothes? No, he didn't give me any clothes. I, I, I didn't really, I never like. Actually went through his closet and looked. Hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah. I I, I, I also just, just don't want to like smell like Todd every day too, because you know once somebody is wearing something for like years, I feel like you just now it's like that. It's very identifiable. You're like, well, yeah. that's Todd's jacket. Sometimes yeah. it sucks with the social media stuff because like we'll record like one podcast episode in an outfit, and then we like you don't even want to wear it out again yeah. because you you feel so defined in that outfit because so many people have seen you in yeah. it. Yeah. You know I what I discovered um and I know this may exist for girls or this may exist for guys but some girls I know have it. They have this thing called like rent a closet where basically you pay a membership every month, you get a bunch of clothes for that month. And then when you're done for that month, you send all the clothes back, and then you get a whole new closet every month. Oh, That's wait. pretty cool. So, so because you think about it, like the amount of money sometimes we spend on clothes, and you buy it, and you only end up wearing it a couple like, times, yeah. and then it loses all its value. Sometimes you're just like, I'd rather just pay for brand new clothes I get every month that get returned, and I just get new clothes so I always have a new look. And how much like does something like that cost? I don't know, but I sometimes think about it. I think you would end up saving money the amount of money you would spend on clothes. Mm. You know? I think something like that would be good for me, but the thing is that why do I feel like every time I get a new box, I'm only going to like one thing out of the ten that I get? Uh, I know. I feel like it's going to be like a bunch of like dad's like looking stuff yeah. or it's going to not have it. But I, I, if the people in the comments, if y'all know of a, of a good – Closet shopping thing like that, yeah, I would be open can, to it. In the comments, I, I really just send me <laughs> good <laughs> websites. I'm really like, bro, I'll go to Target and buy something. Like, I, I, I just want to buy like nice it's, Target clothes. just makes it so easy to buy clothes. So you're like, oh, Rugrats graphic tee. Yeah, hell yeah. And, and I like cheap shit. Like, I yes. want to, I, I like, I think cheap shit looks better on me than expensive stuff. And also, you I, feel less bad if you buy a $10 shirt and then maybe wear it once versus like, oops, exactly. this is $160. Like, if you only wear it once, you kind of feel like a schmuck. Exactly. I, I bought Wrangler jeans, man. I was so excited about them. And, but I want to get those like nice, good, like high-waisted, good like dad jeans. Oh, you see, I can't. I would never look good in that shit. Do you know Kevin Costner in Field of Dreams? Have you seen that movie? I've seen it, but I how do you remember jeans? what the fuck he was wearing? In <laughs> because that movie. I was watching it, and the movie came out what like 1995. He's just wearing these jeans in it, and I go, I want to be able to wear jeans that fit my waist, but I don't have to wear a belt. Oh, like dress pants. It's like pretty much dress pants. Uh, are you excited for your birthday party? Um, I'm not. I'm really tired. I feel like you don't like being the center of attention. But I don't you, like you being the center it's of attention. It's a collab birthday party with Charlie, though. Exactly. You, I, I'm the old, like. Have you ever seen a collab party like that? I mean, when it's someone's birthday. Uh, I think recently that's becoming a little more popular, where you can Got combine it. friend groups. But like at Dobrik's party, I feel like that's the type of thing that you like, where. You're not responsible. You don't have to be saying hi to everybody. You just go and have a good time. Exactly. But on your birthday, it's like you have to be saying hi to everyone. Yeah. It's your party. And, and also the girl that's like throwing the party, her birthday's the next night. And in my eyes, like, why? Like, I would feel so bad if I was like everyone saying happy birthday and she was like there, like two singing. And oh, it's like nobody. Oh, yeah, so I was right. like, no, let's no put your name on the fucking invitation. Let's yeah. let's let's enjoy this. We're even going to try to like, be, <laughs> I think me and her are going to do black <laughs> Because we're just like, let's just do black tie. So we're going to try to like uh, compliment each other's outfits. Nice. That'll be nice. Just so like it kind of like works. So I'm excited about that. Get up presents. (laughs) Gifts? No, you do not. No, I'll accept it, but you do not need to get it. But not at the party though. No, yeah, I want I want to stack a gift like a sixteen. <laughs> like, I was getting, I was getting birthday presents, party. I was getting presents at my birthday party, and I was hammered. Like <laughs> I had like a friend who was like, "Hey, I got you this book." It was trying to explain to me this book, and I was like <laughs> so drunk. And then I was like, "Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this here," and I don't even know where the book is. You see, yeah, that's it's. I have it. I took it. 
Do you not really? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Actually, I think my brother has it. But, um, okay, cool. Um, it's going to be at Melrose Place. Don't worry, this will come out after, right? Are you doing the second level, top level? The uh, rooftop. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. I mm-hmm. just was at an event there. Yeah, it's, uh, we were at, you were there the other night. We were yes. on the second floor. That was a lot of fun. They're actually, I think they're down to let us start uh, having stuff there. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was a great little, like, it, like, it wasn't too big, but not too small either. And I liked how like the DJ booth was right there, and the dinner table was right there. It was it was like a perfect little setup. I I've been that. wanting to watch that show, Melrose Place. Do you remember that like soap opera? No, soap you never opera. heard about it. It was like you know Beverly Hills nine hundred two one zero. Yeah, there was a show called Melrose Place that was about people in their like mid to late twenties that were living in an apartment down over there. Oh, really? I saw a TikTok of someone like asking a Gen Z person to read the name of that TV show, and they said Beverly Hills. Not nine zero two one zero. Like they didn't know that it was nine zero two one zero. What? Yeah, they're funny. like, what's the name of this show? Because it's just they didn't grow up with that. Do you think Beverly Hills is losing its like allure? Yes. Is that a word? Allure? Yeah. yeah I think yeah. it's losing its allure. Yeah, like nine zero two one zero area code used to like people would pay money yeah. to have that zip code, which is insane. Like you could make like an extra half a million dollars on your house. If it was nine hundred two one zero zip code versus a different one, just because of the TV show. Exactly. I, th- I think I think that allure is now moving to like Malibu and see. Yeah. Oh, uh, Sherman, Sherman Oaks. Oaks. Sherman, Sherman Oaks. Oaks. <laughs> Sherman Oaks. Nine one four. I love how like when we first moved out here, we started right in the the heart of things, and we just made our way up and further and further away from everything. Yeah, but I still think we're like this is like the best kept secret of LA is where yeah. we live. It's well, so nice. Just in the very very southern tip of the valley yeah, yeah. it's the yeah. best I it's really it nice it's there's no traffic really here and you're still not far away from like everything else you know zane and i we have this whole theory that the outside of our house is like a simulation oh I've my god this. can you explain yes. it's out of fucking truman show dude yeah every <clears throat> di- i at first i thought it was something only i was experiencing and i kept it to myself for a really really long time and then finally i brought, uh, brought it up every time you walk out of our house there is always somebody walking They're dog, right in front of it. Right in front of the house. Or when you're backing up from the driveway, someone is in your rear view mirror, mirror walking with either a stroller or a, or a dog. It's, it's the same person every time. No, no, different. It's somebody. It's just but the thing is, and then right when they pass, look down the street. Look, nobody, nobody else. It's only this one person, and it's just always somebody. Like a simulation. It's yeah. just loading an NPC and... Every single time you leave the house, there's we a send a picture. A we send a picture to each other like every time. Oh, yeah, it's it's. It, ins- it, I want to say it's not every time, but it is like seventy yeah. percent. Yeah, someone's outside, just walking the walking dog, their dog or right in front of our house. It's like they were rehearsed to always be there. And it's I, like you load up in a epi- like a level of an, in a video game. Yeah, every time yes. it's the same loop yes. over and over. Exactly. There's always huh. someone inside of our house or outside of our house, so we think something's up. I mean, I think we're getting pretty close to proving that in the entire reality is the simulation. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think at this point, I think we should bring Heath in because I know he loves this conversation. <laughs> Heath! Does he really? <laughs> no, no. He, no. He, like, you know, he likes like shit like this. Like a uh, uh, conspiracy. Conspiracy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I don't know, the whole stimu- simulation theory, yeah. I want to believe it, then sometimes it depresses me thinking about it. Yeah, I don't know the answer, but I hope we find out soon. That would be lit if they were like, oh, by the way, we figured it out. We're in a computer. That'd be sick. Let it rip. Just something else. Yeah, something yeah, for something us to else. get excited about. Um, out of all your investments, do you, do you feel like you are going to, like, could you see yourself being one of the sharks on Shark Tank? Happy Hour, Cromoda, I mean, Podcast. I would, I would, are, are you saying their, that, like, realistic? Like, would I ever want to be somebody yeah, like, like if that? they were like, we want You're to be an, an, like, an angel investor. Like, they, we want to bring you on as a guest host on Shark Tank. Like, do you think you could do it? No, I wouldn't be able to do that. Not no. They give you money. They're like, we'll give you a million dollars to invest. It, it doesn't matter like, how much money you give me. I literally wouldn't be able to do something like that. You can give me the money, and I, it would probably be a great show because I would be like, yo, have you seen this fucking idiot on this show? <laughs> maybe that. You know what? That would probably honestly make their views go up because there's like a giant idiot on the show, like trying to trying to be, pretend he's a shark. You don't think you but, could like suss out if someone's pitching you on something that makes sense or not? Like we invented a stroller that collapses on itself and. <laughs> Um, or like be like, yeah, I'll give you five percent for a hundred thousand dollars in your company. I, I have to learn more about that world. Like, I'm not like familiar right. with that at all. I wish this, th- like, this is another subject. I wish that they just taught us in school. Like, yeah. I hate that I don't know anything about this world, and you have to hire somebody to, to do it for you. I don't like that. It sucks, especially when I like I. I 
I know I'd be able to do it if I understood it. You know, like Mark Cuban has like not really in the green from any of his Shark Tank investments. I think most of the Shark Tank investments are like break even. A lot of it is just pub- publicity for them. Yeah, like I thought, I was like, oh. These people must be just killing it because they're investing, and then they have to be making more money. No, on top I feel of the like show. most most of them go just under. fall flat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's been like a few hits, like Scrub Daddy was a big hit. Yeah, um, just because they're just because they're sharks does like, not mean that the business. Yeah. yeah, I want I want to invent a Scrub Daddy. I want I want to be in the thing of a Bob. Just business. so simple. <laughs> thing of a Bob I want to invent something that is a thing and it's simple use and it's easy product. Like, Remember that have... fucking trunk thing? I was like, we all thought of this. That's so annoying. Right. And it just this lady just invented it. Like what just is it? okay. So you know how like when you come from back from the beach and every, uh, families are always changing in the trunk. Yeah, like in front of everybody. Oh, in our heads yeah. we're always like we should be able to like cover it. We're always using a towel. Well, to cover the kids and cover ourselves like a privacy screen. and not once did any of us think to come up with something where it ma- it, it, it's, it's a, a magnet it's over a, your yeah. like a privacy screen that yeah attached to the- but the, the, the thing the lady made it's it two seconds it's just magnets just fucking and i know it's in a tarp and it, did, it had like a million likes i'm like oh this lady's gonna gonna become a billionaire Damn. Easy, easy invention. You know, the, remember we talked about the girl who made uh, the the like those like scrunchies that can become uh, oh the t- the covers t- yeah covers for your drinks so yes, nobody can yes. drug you. I was just watching a TikTok of her like pitching it, the success of it, and everything, and all of a sudden my face comes in it, and it's a clip from Unfiltered of us talking about it. Wait, where was it? It was on TikTok. Oh, on TikTok. I, sick, on TikTok. Dude, I thought it was like it on came TV. Up on my feed, and I was just thirty seconds in, and I'm just like. Damn, this girl created a great product. What a great invention. Just watching the compilation of all of her yeah. success. And then I'm in it. I'm like, what? <laughs> it was pretty crazy. But that's a great business idea. I just, but Scrub Daddy, just a simple product. I don't yeah. want to build, I don't want to build out like an app or like some yeah. Oh, yeah, get that's, users that's and awesome. features. You We're just getting want people thing. to rethink how No, to you want to like make the Rubik's Cube. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yes, sure. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, huh. just, uh, a friend's girlfriend. She, her name's Ayla. She just came out with this dog bed where it's like you bring it around. It's like, or it's like it rolls like a, like a little sleeping bag. And you know how dogs love to sleep on fur. Yeah. Right. Because you always have to put a blanket on the couch. Yeah. Now this is an outside fur bed type thing where like if you're eating at a restaurant, you bring your dog with you. You open it up and it's like a fur. Oh, that's smart. outside bed, and the dog like lays in it. And every dog would love that. Yeah. Wow. Because they all love sleeping on fur. It was a genius idea. I haven't seen that before, but she just like. Launched it like wow. I think yesterday. Gotcha. Or Do you know the guy who invented the bop it? Like also invented like uh, wait the yeah. bop it like that yeah bop, bop it. it. Yeah. Listen, He's I follow him on TikTok. Invented so many types of products. Also like you know toilet bowl cleaner. You know how like the bottle of toilet bowl cleaner is like angled. Yeah. That oh yeah, so it goes. Yeah. Yeah. He invented that. That's brilliant. Wow. He also I I think I saw a TikTok of him that he invented like sand claws originally. That it's like oh. from the 80s that like you grab it and then it helps you dig in the sand. But he didn't patent it, so he made no money on it. Wow. And then he was like, all right, I got to patent my shit. And he made the bop it, and he made like a billion dollars. Is, pat- is patenting really hard? I, it's really expensive. Because you have to basically hire a lawyer to like pr- – the way that you have to get a patent is to prove that what you're doing is new and original. And show the many different ways it can be used and how it's built so that if someone else tries to make it, you can prove that this is the one that you made. Like So if someone tries to copy it – you want to make the patent strong enough to say, like, if someone copies it, that this is a copy of my patent. Wow. It's it's a really intense process. But, is, but are all patents classified, though? No, no. That's the that's the difference. Like, Can we look up any patent on the, on the yeah, internet? Yeah, patents are public. So, they're like, for oh. example, like, I know Rolex has a specific type of glass that they make, and they didn't patent it because they know that it's so complicated and so difficult to do that they would rather just not reveal how they do it with a patent and it's like more exclusive because it's not patented. Because nobody else can like make it like Rolex. They're like, no one's even going to compete with us so we may as well not reveal how we can do it. Yeah. Interesting. There's a whole world of that kind of crazy shit, but. Wow. We'll be right back after a quick word from today's sponsor, Stamps.com. Right about now, the holiday season excitement or dread is really starting to settle in, especially for small businesses. Slaying through traffic to the post office, inbox looking more like a blizzard than a winter wonderland, rushing to send gift cards to your loyal clients. It's not too late to get your holiday mailing and shipping under control with Stamps.com. Sign up now and you'll be printing your own postage in minutes. Stamps.com is your one-stop shop for all your shipping and mailing needs. For more than 20 years, 
Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Get access to the USPS and UPS services you need to run your business right from your computer. There's no lines, no traffic, no hassle. And even save money with major discounts on USPS and UPS shipping rates, up to 86% off. Stamps.com is a stress-free solution for every small business. Use Stamps.com to print postage wherever you do business. All you need is a computer and printer. And if you need a package pickup, you can easily schedule it with Stamps.com in the dashboard. Rates are constantly changing, and with Stamps.com's switch and save feature, you can easily compare carriers and rates so you know that you're getting the best deal every time. And if you're running an online store, Stamps.com works seamlessly with all major shopping carts and marketplaces. So this holiday season, trade late nights for silent nights and get started at Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code HOOT for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. There's no long-term commitments or a contract. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code HOOT. And now, back to the episode. Yeah, here, Matt, the thing, you try to invent something, and I'll like invest in it. <laughs> okay. How about that? Because, I will. Because I just, I, my brain cannot think of a new invention. I Simple kinda, inventions the, like that. I, I, there are days where I'm like, I'm going to buy a 3D printer. Like, just. <laughs> just I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it my own product right here in my fucking yeah, room. Yeah, just start, just start thinking of an idea. Prototyping. 3D printers yeah. are, do, like. When they first were out, I'm like, that's really cool, but that's a little too extensive of a piece of technology to have in my home. No, but they get tinier now. and tinier and more simple where you're like, hell. You should like, join the Reddit, like the my, subreddit. The thing that I have my like my Apple Watch and like my AirPods that sits on, that's a 3D printed object. Like I could have done that from home. There's a lot of like things I find myself buying where I'm like, I could have that 3D printed and just – Trying to prototype something. I, I genuinely don't understand 3D printers. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, I I could read 15 pages about how 3D printers are made. And I don't, I, I just don't understand it. You do, is it, you know that it's like a little, like, it's almost like, uh, you know, weed whackers, those little strips of plastic. Yeah. Okay, so it's like those, you up, uh, you know, hot glue guns. Yeah. You know, it, it goes in like a tube and then it comes out okay. like liquid. It's basically that happening, it's but they're plastic. doing they're doing layer by layer by layer by layer by layer of it, and it just and you're feeding in a 3D model of a thing. The printer is just going like line by line, but instead of just on a piece of paper, it's like building the piece of paper up. It's pretty cool, hmm. but it's just the, then every time I look at the software of someone using it, I'm like, okay, that's too much. <laughs> like Photoshop, sometimes I'm like, make it easier. I know, <laughs> make it easier. That's they're why like, I use Pick they're Monkey. Like, they're like, yeah, they're like, look what I did. It's some time lapse of someone on Photoshop doing all of this stuff. You're like, no. fucking, just use some faces, yeah. <laughs> extract it. Now you can copy and paste out a whole fucking edge. They're using a magnetic lasso. Uh, yeah, like, just they're developing new shapes to wrap the text around. You're like, just get it. Get it. Yeah. Too much. Use it. Ah. Too much. I know. Uh, Oh man, um, what would you want to invent, Mike? Did you have an invention that you always thought of, and then finally it came out? You were like, "Shit!" The- yeah, like a, a, a coffee cup that stays heated. That was a, an idea that I've had for a long time, and there is one. A there- thermos? No, no, no. A cup, like a mug, like it, like you know, in the morning. It's not for traveling. It's for at the home. You pour your cup of coffee. If like 10, 20 minutes later the coffee's cool because you're just in a regular mug. There's a company coffee that makes cools actually in a gla- like glass like coffee mug way so too fast. fast way too fast. So there's fast. a company that makes like there's a little puck underneath and the puck has like heat in it and it's almost like a mini coffee pot but the the mug will stay warm. It's like 150 bucks. It's not worth it. You know what I but... like seeing on like my my TikTok the, those cups that like mix your drinks for you. Oh, we go. Ah. Oh, like it has something already down yeah, inside. Yeah, I of think it. that's so cool. Like a blender. <laughs> yeah, like I saw protein. like hot cocoa just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I thought that was just a brilliant game, a game changer. A game, I'd be yeah. worried about like the coffee getting into that and like molding or something. You know, it's like a blender. You just got to clean it every day. Yeah, I guess so. I would think it's cool like those bars were. Like, like the beer fills up on the cups from like the bottom. Oh yeah, I, that's. I think every time I see that. Idea but too. the thing is, once but but that little thing at the bottom, if you're having your beer and you just push your finger up, yeah. the, all the beer <laughs> comes out of it. So, but like just knowing that, you makes just start me, pranking it people. It makes at me the, want yeah. to just like go like stick my finger in. I yeah. would never, but that's a. I think it's a Shark Tank product too. Yeah. Would you ever get chipped? Would you ever get an RFID chip? Like if like, you could just have a chip them? and you could just walk in your home like that. Um, I don't think I would need it. Yeah, like where would you like need, if you worked in an office or like had like a restaurant or something where you have to like go in a lot? I don't know. My life would it would like 
it wouldn't make it that much more convenient to have it. Yeah. Do you? It you seems guys a have excessive. Teslas. You guys still use your Tesla car key, right? No, I the phone. hate the Tesla car key. But doesn't it's on your, not it's, use her car keys or she's she's car she's keyless, right? I don't use the key ever. It's on your phone. There's the Bluetooth app, and when you get close to your car, it just unlocks through the phone. I should turn mine on. That's How do you they, get into your car? With a, with my little key card, I have to always always swipe Dang. it on. No, you swipe the card into like the car. Yeah, like I'm buying something from that's a store. That's not how you do it, bro. Well, that's what how I've been doing. Wait, it. Uh, you don't even have to swipe it. You no, just tap you, it. you just put it up. Like <clears> every like, time I unlock my car, I'm like, I could be running away from a killer, and I'd be fucked because it takes <laughs> yeah. me like. Wait, Ten you're, seconds you're that, swiping it in between the door? No, no, no. It's like you, oh. you p- put it on the black part, and yeah. then you got to slide it down, and then it'll unlock You don't it. have to slide. If you just know where to put it, you just go like this, and then it unlocks. But on your phone, in the app, you can do remote key. You walk up to your car, it unlocks. You walk away, it locks. I know. Every time I look, uh, every time I like notice it that I have to do it, I tell myself I'm going to do it later that day, and I don't. I'll do it with you after we, do, we film okay, this. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> um do you one. think if we were in the 80s, we'd be doing stand-up comedy? A hundred percent. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, we? Us? <laughs> like, Well, because we don't have the internet, but do you think we'd be out here, like, grinding, like, differently with our own talents? It's like what Jason was doing. Like, you'd be oh, in a Oh, yeah, you'd be because in a there's no videos. There's, you, there's really no content creating. Um, I... The thing... Here's the thing, though. You have to... Either be good at stand up or good at acting, and I'm neither. So, but you could do like sh- like stand up, not not just stand up comedy, but like put on a comedy show where it's like you're doing skits or you're writing stuff, like what Jason used to do in the '90s. The thing is, is crowd work. That's a whole <laughs> yeah. different like, leg of crowd work's different though. I don't know, or maybe you would have like been like the jackass guys who you know they just picked up a regular video camera and filmed them doing dumb shit. They kind of started. It. That's that's so interesting. Like I, I honestly wouldn't. I, I the thing is that I don't think I would have been been able to do it because I'm not good at being like on stage and in front of a ton of people. Like I think that I have like big stage fright when I do that. Yeah. But like I'm able to do what I'm doing because I'm behind a camera and yeah. I'm like with my friends. We don't have to hear the audience laugh. We know that when you know they're yeah, laughing on their yeah. own. I wouldn't be able to make it back then. Hundred percent. No way. You would still be at the airport. Yeah, but unless you got on a sitcom, the whole thing back then was like being a comedian, and then you got like hooked on a huge sitcom yes. deal, and then you took like your you have to be good at improv and acting you to like be on that sitcom. Yeah, or I would writing. love to be on the sitcom. <laughs> you think so? Matt, no, Matt would be like a big weatherman. You think so? Over yeah. here, we got a. Um... <laughs> Well, no, let's see. Come on, I think it's good. Talk I don't. The, I don't have enough good like meteor. Talk meteorology. about the cold front coming in. We have a nice cold front coming into Sherman Oaks, and if we look towards Rancho Cucamonga, <laughs> there is a uh, there is a slight breeze, and that's all going to push towards the north here. If you look over here at Gilead, at Gilead. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you watch Handmaid's Tale? No, no, he doesn't. You liking this new Game of Thrones show? I love it. We're just going to see it for another two years. House of Dragons? Mm-hmm. <laughs> House of the Dragons. Oh, it's House of the Dragons. Well, doesn't... <laughs> well, Jack Cook edits this, right? <laughs> doesn't he go House of Dragons? I don't know. Or House of... It's House, it's House of the Dragons. I just can't... House of the Dragon? House of the Dragon. The House of the Dragon? House of the okay. Dragon. Okay. I want to um, be an extra in season two. What would you rather be an extra? They're, they're filming that right now. You gotta go. No, I don't think they're filming it right now. Oh, they are. No, I fo- I follow I follow some of the cast. They're not filming. Would you rather be in Euphoria or Game of Thrones? No, Game of Thrones. How's really? Drag? Yeah, I want to be like in because I know they all like are really in the moment. Like Euphoria, I feel like it's not re- like I feel like they're on Instagram in between takes. Yeah, and TikToks. I feel like like What's... there. I feel like I'd really. <sighs> I don't know. Everyone would be more thrilled if you're on Game of Thrones. If we were on Euphoria, they'd be like, why? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I just don't think no. it would be that exciting. No, no. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I want to be like holding a go in like episode three of season nine. Like for two seconds. You see my face? I, I want, I just want to be able to tell people that like, you guys, are, look, yes, I'm right me. there. Yeah. I just it's got to so be like funny. a pause and pause. Yeah. Like yeah. those kind right. of moments. Exactly. Nothing where it's going to be too much of a distraction from the show. Exactly. But enough to where maybe they get a boost. Like the whole pop star video I did for Drake's music. That was cool because I was like so out of the way. Yeah. But still everybody noticed it, which was really funny. I still really geek out every time that video comes up. Like when I was Patricia, all of her college friends were in town and they were like, yeah. oh my God, pull up pop star. We love, I'm like the Drake music video. They go, yeah, it's our favorite music video. And I go, 
my roommate Zane is in it. They're like, really? That's so funny. Dude, uh, we, were, we were in Miami, right, as soon as that video came out. And so everybody kept playing the song and fucking he kept on going to different people. You know the song? He's in it. And all the girls were like, what? Huh? Wow. Let's watch it. It was really, it was really wow. funny. Because I've never been in anything like that traditional in my life. Yeah. The music so. video is long, though. It's oh, like, my God. This it's was like, like nine and a half minutes. It's like a minutes. fucking Zoom call for <laughs> yeah. two minutes. And then you're like, wrap it up and then the end of it it's like it's like you know like a third grader wrote like an essay it's like i woke up and it was all a dream <laughs> you, know, you know what i mean like yeah, in the yeah. end, it's like justin bieber and like hayley they, exactly like, oh <clears throat> so like i like i want to be like i want to be like genuinely what do i need to do do you think to get on to like as an extra do you, do you oh, follow, so why do i feel like a part of me is like Oh no, oh, American influencer YouTube would no. We don't want them as a part of anything that we're doing all for House uh, of Dragons. Like, really, why do I feel like they would look down? Where on, are they filming? Is it like oh, and probably in fucking like uh, New Zealand? Zealand. Uh, yeah, like also, Croatia. Are you like, SAG Scotland? Do you have to be SAG? I'm bad. No, I feel be. like it's easier if you're not because Bro, then, I'll then do you can it just for roll in. Free. Yeah. I'll pay for my own flight. I think you could. If you, I mean, you said you follow some of the actors, like Fabian follows Patricia. You should ask him. You should. You should find out who's directing and who's a writer. Maybe not writer, but like who's I producing, like who's directing. <laughs> Just like, like to reach out to the writer or the, director. On Instagram, you probably have like 500 followers on Instagram. These guys are not like – it's like an email address. Just be like, hey, yeah, I love I the show. Yeah, but I think that's like a little like embarrassing to like – I feel like – What's the worst that they could say? Nothing? They ignore you? They're... Yeah, but then what What if if they see my name and they see I reach out through like my team, I think that's a little bit more like, oh, this guy's desperate. Shoot your shot, baby. What are you going to do? Not – But don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> No, I wouldn't embarrass, embarrass don't, myself. Don't ruin it, Zane. What if they're like, uh, Zane, congratulations, we actually have a monologue for you. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> could you do it? Could you do a British accent? No, I could not do a monologue. <laughs> and you'd have to have an accent, too. Yeah. Like, Zane's on like, but where? <laughs> but where? <laughs> but where are... But where my are... dragons! <laughs> where are my dragons? And they just cut you out. like <laughs> If there's like... I feel like... Because I kind of look like Oberyn Martell. From from yeah, Game of Thrones, I, mean, the, the, I feel like they could put me in like the 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 um the, the Arab yeah like houses like the you know in the, with the snakes because I look like a little you all you look, look like you could fit r really well. You into, should just yeah. DM them and say what are the odds I can hold a goat for one scene in the background next season? But like, well, we you're have not, to make sure there's goats in. But you're not the, asking to like be in the show. You're not asking to be a character. You're just asking to be an extra. Like there are extras. Like this is a job that people have. But I think an extra. they would make me sign something saying that there is a chance that the scene will be cut. You know what I mean? And that course, would be yeah. devastating. You come yeah. back and we have a whole watch party, just chips, popcorn, everything's but out. They, then... like, I feel like that's too much for them to have to promise that. Because what if the scene just doesn't work and they need to cut it out? Like, they can't have that on them too, right? I would say shoot your shot. Stephen Colbert is a huge fan of Lord of the Rings and they put him in one of the movies like exactly like well, that. Well, that's Stephen, Stephen Colbert. Colbert. You're Zane... Hey, what's your last name again? Hey, job, you're right Zane Hazagi. <laughs> Hazagi. Didn't I you get you something got... in the mail the other day like Zane Hagazi or something? Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I'm not that important for them to like have to... Shoot your, your shot, shot, baby. Du this is the but year I of the double I wouldn't down. DM him and be like, what are the odds? <laughs> no, I wouldn't even <laughs> go slim. I'm saying, but don't, you don't want to make it like you're trying to be like, oh my god, I would love to be a character in your show. I'll send in a self tape. I'll read like that. Seems a little desperate. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do. But that. if you make a joke almost out of it, like, what are the odds you need someone to hold a goat for a background scene yeah. next year? <clears throat> They'd be like, oh my god, my daughter loves your videos. Because like, I feel like everybody that like is in my position in this like internet world yeah. would never like they're too big headed to ever i know like, but that's spend why. time for free to be an extra in a seat like no that. they're I think gonna go to auditions wild. and have an agent and like try and do it for real but you kind of yeah. do it as a bit and then maybe you'll succeed you have to try honestly it. i think just like even w just seeing everything go but down would make it, it worth it isn't it so frustrating knowing that there's like t like hundreds of extras <clears throat> yeah. in a scene you're like how can i not be one of them that's what I'm saying. You know? Yeah. An extra is like an easy one thing. One fucking person just put me in it. Yeah. You know? That's true. Like, that's what I I think 
would increase but your chances. But I okay, this and this is where I get um selfish, right? This is where I want to be the center of attention a little bit. I wouldn't want to be with a b- giant group of people because I just don't think that's worth it. You don't want to be like that's me. The I third want person. I want to be kind of by myself. Yeah. I get it. You want you want a spotlight. You want a little spotlight. A little spotlight. That's totally fair. Like you know the scene where like the fucking the last episode where everybody's in the hall and they're announcing the king. Like that is I couldn't like that's that there's no point in doing sure. that. Sure. It'd be cool to be a part of that too, but I really just want just that quick little I would say shoot your shot. You'll even worst case if you go to the set and just meet all the actors and like you're on set, that's a cool experience in and of itself. I wish Extra, I had- extras don't Extras don't get to meet everybody, I don't think. I think yeah, they keep not, it very separate. But you would be maybe a little bit elevated than an extra. I would I'd like I would just like the thing is that I would also uh pitch in like just content around the show. Like I will post everywhere <laughs> like they need it. But like yeah. I would just I don't know. <laughs> You're like live streaming yourself like <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. That was such a breeze. Thanks for joining us, eh? Happy, happy late birthday. Well, now this episode will come out, but I can't wait to um, party with you and celebrate. And this happy weekend. Thanksgiving to everyone who's about oh, to yeah.